a record man, the joke's on you Running your label like it was 1992 Hey, Mr. Record Man, your system can't compete It's the new artist model, file transfer Download the song Download the song What's your, what's your take on streaming? Because I know uh, lots of musicians are against it and, uh, like, you know, Spotify and things. Hey, what, what's your take on that? Here's my take. Uh, You know, we've never made money on music. Um, When we were selling hundreds of thousands of albums uh, was the time of Napster, uh, LimeWire and all that. People were stealing as much as they were buying. And we missed out on the, uh, the, you know, of the thing where you sell a bunch of records and make a bunch of money, Um, which is fine because that's gotten us to where we are now. And here's where we are now. We're making money on, on streaming. Everybody is. Uh, and, and those who aren't making the kind of money that they want to make have never been on a label where you literally get nothing. You know, you're, you, you just owe them money all the time. So I think what people have to understand and where musicians get caught up is that they th- I, I just see so many young bands, especially think I'm going to go spend $10,000 on this album and then I'm going to put it on Spotify and I'm going to make my money back. Well, that's not how it's ever worked. It's never worked that way. Back in the day before streaming, you had to go make CDs and they, that was more of an investment. You had to do this. Then you had to go out there and bust your fucking ass and sell them to make that money back. So it was never just, I'm going to do this, I'm going to throw it out there, and then I should get paid for this. That's, that's, not, that's the thing, is you have to put all of it into perspective on what you're actually providing and the work that you're doing. So if you're not making enough money on streaming, then you need to get your streams up. How do you get your streams up? Build a fucking tour base. Build a following. Build, get on playlists. Bust your ass like we fucking did. So I, I'm passionate about this because... Yeah. I think bands are fucking lazy now. I think they think that, you know, okay, well, you know, there's like in, in, in America, for example, you know, you, we were talking just a minute ago about how we had already been together eight years before we had a hit. Yeah. Well, look back on our stories of those eight years. And that is us in a van, literally driving from city to city, sometimes not even having a show, just trying to find one going into bars going, hey, do you have a band tonight? No, you want one? Like, let us play. Let us get in front of people every single day, every single day, drive and drive and drive and drive and drive and drive. So if you're not doing that, if you're not putting that much work into it, you have no reason to complain about how much money you're getting paid on streams. And that's the way I feel about it. Uh, I yeah. think that, that that's an outlet that you can build upon, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't and never has been. Selling music has never been the main source of income for bands ever. It never has been. It's merch, touring, shows, merch, 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 touring shows, merch, touring shows. That's it. That's how you make money. So just be happy you're getting fucking something. That's what I'm saying. It's like you see lots of musicians today where it it feels like they're selling you merch to sell you an album. So it's like, right. I'll buy, buy this T-shirt and we'll throw in a digital copy of the album. Buy a, buy a hoodie and we'll throw it, you know. Right, exactly. Look, I, here's what I tell bands all the time. So I hope a lot of young bands listen to this. And don't think I'm an asshole because I'm not. I, I just am one of the only people that are just fucking be honest with you about shit. You should just, you should make CDs and give them away. They're fucking cheap. Nobody has a CD player anymore. So... Trying to get people to pay for it is crazy, but those that do just give it out, but put something in their hand so yeah. that they, that way that they feel like they have to go, Oh, well, I should go. Let me go listen to this on spot. I don't own a CD player. Nobody does. So why don't I fucking go get this on Spotify? Right? Like I'll go listen to this because they took the time to do that. But especially if they're buying a piece of merch, if they're paying 25 pounds for a t-shirt, 20 pounds for a t-shirt or whatever, hand them a CD, put it in their hand. You know, and just go, hey, even if you don't have a CD player, go stream this, you know, but you're right. It's a that's that's the business card these days, Um, because quite frankly, it's already on the Internet. Right. So it's it's hard to expect somebody to buy a CD 
unless um, you're a band that can autograph them all and that means something, yeah. or you're a band that can have some sort of special packaging or something in the CD that they can only have and they're, they're going to want that. At that point, okay, sell them this, sell them that music. But quite frankly, you're selling, you know, you why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free, right? Like yeah. that used to be about chicks. Now it's about songs. <laughs> I'm passionate about this whole streaming thing just because, again, ask a band that was around 15 years ago how much money they ever made selling music. So if it's, you know, whatever it is, it's not how the, it, it didn't pay the rent. Yeah. People weren't going around selling enough CDs or getting enough airplay or whatever. I'm talking, and I'm not talking about Taylor Swift. I'm not talking about Bon Jovi. I'm talking yeah. about just bands, right? Normal fucking bands. The ones complaining, right? The ones saying I've got a hundred thousand streams and I got a check for, you know, $40 or whatever. I don't know what the math is. Right. Yeah. But it's yeah. like, fuck, I don't know. I mean, people stole our song, you know, 140 million times and I didn't get shit. So I don't know. I say buy, buy some beer with that 40 bucks and have a great night out, you know? Yeah. And then, then go play some fucking shows and build a fan base. Yeah. Or, or like put $40 worth of uh, petrol or gas in your van and go and do some shows. Here in, here, in fact, lies what you really should do. Yeah. Put 40 bucks into that social media advertising. Do a Google ad. Do a Facebook ad. Do an Instagram promotion. Buy something that you can all sign and that everybody would want and give it away for followers. You know what I mean? Reinvest yeah. in yourself. Because that's why when you ask how much money were you guys making on CDs back in the day? It was all going in the gas tank or to buy stickers to give away or to put up and all of this. Like it, it's all just reinvesting, right? Nothing has changed. You know, it's, it's not like things are just different. You know, you can look at the, the, and sure. Look, do I wish that we got paid more for um, streaming services? Sure. But do I want you to boycott them? Fuck no. Put me in a playlist, man. Fucking spin that shit all the time. Just keep going. Because, look, I, I, it's it's more than we ever made before. I, I know I already said that. But, yeah. you know, it's like when you get a check for something that, you you know, you used to just, it just used to just exist in the world and you were out there like fucking playing these songs. Please buy a T-shirt so that we can afford to get to the next town. You know, yeah. <laughs> now it's like, hey, you know what? Everybody can fucking pay their rent this month you know it's nice like i say i i, I felt like you know different people feel different ways about mm. it and it's nice to hear some people say positive things because you just hear so much negative things about streaming that it's, it's yeah. nice to hear a different perspective you know dude and as a fan yeah how is it not the greatest thing in the world like holy shit frank turner and the descendants both have a new album out today I'm going to fucking make a playlist with both of those albums and then just go drive around and waste gas, you know, like I, let's fucking go, you know? Yeah. And I, and, and that's it. Like it, you're just done. And then what is it? Nine, $12 a month that I, that I'm out for that. Jesus Christ. Any song I ever want to hear, you know? And, yeah. and I have them all, by the way, I'm not partial to any, I got, you know, again, I, I have them all because different, different kids like different ones. You know, I have three kids and a wife and certain people like this thing. And this, so I just, I got Amazon, Pandora, Apple Music, Spotify, you know, whatever. But, um, so, you know, people are like, which one? I don't care. Just fucking pick one and yeah. stream the shit out of us. We're thinking about calling the al the new album, uh, stream the shit out of this album, Buckface. And I'm not kidding. Yes. Yeah. I like it. You know, it's like there's you know back in the day we'd have like a system of a day and we'd steal this album. It's like the sure. mod, yeah. modern equivalent of it. You know, or you have the the visionary who was MC Lars who would download this song, which I appeared on and sang, which is not that far off as now. Do rec he did say records companies wouldn't exist in 10 years, and they don't as they did then. They do exist, but they've had to change their business model too. Yeah. You know, they're, 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 
they're wanting streams just as bad as we are instead of fighting it now. You know, that's, that's there. Everybody's that's where everybody's doing their shit. Right. So, um, but yeah, it's uh download this song was way ahead of its time, you know, and, and I think he knows that too, you know, that he was fucking telling people to steal his shit back when other people were paying for it. And I had him on the label for a while on crappy records. And, you know, when you're trying to re <laughs> when you're trying to get your investment back and he's just fucking giving away high hard drives with all of his shit on there. It was frustrating, but I love that kid, man. He's uh that he's smart, smart dude. You have to polish yourself, Mark.